morning students welcome back to your chemistry class with your chemistry ma'am in today's session i would like to discuss about uh, the last types of reactions exothermic and endothermic reactions actually these reactions are very simple type and the above discuss types of reactions you can include them in the this either exothermic or endothermic type of reactions and for your easiness first i would like to read out the definition very simple exothermic reactions are those reactions in which heat or light or any form of energy is liberated or released during the reaction say for example calcium oxide when you mix with water without supplying any heat if you just keep on a table then the beaker the beaker containing the reaction mixture when you touch with your hands you will feel hot why is it so because the reaction itself is liberating heat so such type of reactions we will called exothermic reactions so exothermic reactions once again liberated heat or light or any form of energy during the reaction and another one more examples when acids or bases strong acids or bases are diluted with water then it is also an exothermic reaction that is heat is also liberated during the dilution of acids or bases generally strong acids or strong bases now you can write the reaction you can write the reaction of calcium oxide calcium oxide mixed with water to form calcium hydroxide this is an example of exothermic reaction okay now endothermic reactions endothermic reactions are also very simple endo absorb absorb thermic represents generally heat endothermic reactions in this types of reaction energy in the form of heat light or any form is absorbed is absorbed during the reaction then that that type of reactions we will call endothermic reactions so very simple example i have mentioned this example in the previous types of reaction generally decomposition reactions decomposition reactions we have further classified into three types based on their uh, type of again the nature of energy they absorb so here calcium carbonate calcium carbonate if you supply heat if you supply heat then calcium carbonate will break down to give calcium oxide and carbon dioxide gas so calcium carbonate absorb heat and break down to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so this example is an example of thermal decomposition also and it is also an example of endothermic reactions also so endothermic reactions example you can give that of uh, electrolytic decomposition electric current pass and break down water to give hydrogen gas and oxygen gas that is also an example of endothermic reactions so in general very simple endothermic reactions are those reactions in which heat or light or any form of energy is absorbed during the reaction then we call that type as endothermic reactions students this two types of reactions that is exothermic and endothermic reactions these are very simple one so if energy is absorbed then that you will called under 
endothermic reactions and if energy is liberated then you will call that type of reaction as exothermic reactions so uh, i will uh, end up today's session here and in the next session i will pick up another uh, the last two topic that is about corrosion and rancidity thank you for today